All right, so what we're going to do this morning is, uh, I mean, I'm just having coffee. I don't, well, I mean, we'll see if the commentary is going to be bonkers. Uh, I'm just legit. I'm literally just having coffee. And, uh, well, we have a 50 game set between Marcus and Choi, run back of Evo 2023. Of course, this is on net play across the, so, you know. We already know what to expect, but this is, you know, Shoto action, so it's always fun watching and trying to see, like, what they're doing to download each other. Of course, it's a match that's in Ryu's favor, but, like, Ken, Ken can make the momentum go his way every now and then, so it's always going to be exciting to watch. It wasn't until pretty recently when I learned, not pretty recently, but, like... Nah, it was a long time ago, but I remember once upon a time, I like, I was like, yeah, Ryu can, yeah, it's all right. It's like 6-4 or something, Ryu wins, and then, you know, little by little, I realized it's much harder for Ryu. Or, sorry, much harder for Ken. Yeah, obviously, I'm still waking up. I was up pretty late last night. I was up pretty early today. I just didn't feel like getting up, and then I'm like, you know what? I need to check out this match, so that's what, that's what brought me here. Um... Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's an interesting match. Um, and these two players have uh, pretty unique styles with their respective characters. So. My bad, I'm just responding to some DMs here. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. What are we waiting for? off game on I'll throw predictions in the chat I'll put it for like 15 minutes or something uh, 50 game set not an FT 50 so Here we go. Marcus with the corner control. Follow up on Ebash. Gonna just stay in the front. Didn't quite get the whiff punish there. Wake up sweep. Low strong and a walk up sweep. That's a Ken specialty right there. If you can walk up sweep consistent. Big jump, but not deep enough to get the full combo. And I'd say Choi's specialty in this match, or just like this character in general, is crouching medium kick. Definitely a button that new players should use more. It's just so good. Like, if it doesn't work, you don't need to keep pressing buttons because after you press a crouching medium kick, your opponent's looking to jump over something. Like, right there, that's kind of like it's the end of a sequence, you know? Like, all right, they might want to start throwing a fireball at this point. But who's going to get the first game here? Nice. Hovers over that. Or you can... It looked like a low forward. Not quite sure what Choi Boy pressed there, but... Marcus gets one on the board. Game one. Playing Turbo 2. Round opener with that crescent kick. Oh, trade with Hado. Sometimes you do a lot more damage. Sometimes you do less damage. RNG on this is a little bit funky. Now he's got the whiff punish on sweep. The walk up sweep right there. And Toy Boy was standing, so that was a legit sweep. Got another one on low. But wow, what a jab show are you? Yeah, that's a safe Shoryu right there as well. Oh, and the, that's a Choi Boy special. I was just about to say it. I was like, yo, he's pumping. That's a Choi special. Never forget what happened in NorCal Regionals that, that one time. <laughs> nice combo. 
got him. If he had meter there, it would have been over. But yeah, that's the choice special. Wow, nice show you. He <laughs> went for it again. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna look for the clip where he does it just so I can show you guys the Choi Boy special. Nice. Yeah, everyone better bet some points. The stream ain't for free. Nice punish right there with the jab, Shoryu. And the Fear Shoryu, that time no Choi special, but the jab DP is gonna go through, and Choi's like, nah, not a save show. One apiece. Two down, 48 to go. That's two jump-ins in a row there from Choi. Feeling feeling brave. And this time gets a Shoryu. Yeah, no punish there. Another Shoryu. And he has Shinku Hado, so Chip is a factor here. But nice Tatsu into Knee Bash. Shoryu can. Is that low forward again? Alright, stays in the front. Sure you can. Sure you can. Yeah. Come on, your boy knows. Your boy know alright, anyway. <laughs> I just played these guys too much, so I know their style. There we go. Dragon Punch. Wow, what an interrupt right there. Spent the Shinku instantly. That was a good pick because even if even if Ken survives this, we're using to get another super bar if needed. So like that was a good time to spend the Shinku. Even though he's stuck in the corner now, he's still got a lot of time. Trading with the low forward. Just don't let him spend that token. Nice patience here. Respectable play. And he spent the token. Nice reaction. Yeah, Ken's fireball. Ton of recovery on that bad boy. Jump around now, so it can hurt. I like those air tatsus, the ones where it like hovers over uh, moves that can low profile. It makes it a bit harder to anti-air, but like guys like Sasori, Kurahashi, they'll just do Fierce Dragon Punch because it pretty pretty much covers everything. A little bit of a miss input there, maybe you want to walk up sweep. Same situation as a previous game, yeah. Takes it with the low forward. That is a round ending move. So, Ryu players out there, make sure you're adding that to your arsenal. You need to have. See that? Low forward, and you have enough time where you can DP if they jump. Ryu players, that's a must. Be using that button. It's so good. What a revert. Nice mix up. And Chip is a factor here. Oh, the double rush. That was rush squared. Three one. That'd be a, your FT three set right there, right then and there. And Choi feeling excited. That's a lot of uh, round openers with up toward. Nice reaction on the Hado. Again, save DP. So. That's another good skill to have as a Ken, is knowing that range where your opponent has to block the Shoryu and they don't really get a punish. Oh, you almost got the confirm off one Repa. Right, zero dot. Mmm. Getting feisty. That was a that was a little zesty Shoryu right there. Mark is still okay with starting uh, rounds with Fireball. Nice point blank cuddles. 
Yeah, when Ken starts playing gutsy like that, nice sweep again. Big jump on reaction. These guys are playing good. Oh no, you missed a punish on Tatsu, it's alright. Got the sand roundhouse. And just lands on the fireball. 2 3. This is actually a fun matchup to watch. Like, it's all, it's not equivalent to solving a Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cubes have patterns, but it, I need to find a better analogy. But it's like, him trying to sneak in a way to make the match look better. <laughs> Got to show you. And Choi Boy's got everything he needs. Uh, he's got the corner. He's got a big life lead, and he got Shinku. He spent one of the three, but he's still got the corner and the life lead. The two out of three, and you're still good to go. He's trying to hit the trifecta. Got the whiff punish on the sweep. Nice. That's two sweeps in a row. And a low strong. Safe. That's a safe meaty, by the way. If they DP, the DP misses, so... I sure you can. Got him. Right back at you, player. I see your fears. I give you mine. There he goes, that Eritatsu again. So, what you want there... Ah. So, what you want there to blow up those Eritatsus is like a really early fierce Shoryu. You want it, you want, you want want the fierce Shoryu to hit as high as possible. It covers pretty much like every angle. Nice little uh, footsie dancing right there. Considering that this is like across the ocean, fundamentally he's looking good. There goes that uh, air tattoo punish again. The alternative to that that punish on the air tattoo, I'll go over it after this. Nice. Ah, yeah, that one. That one specifically. There's a a very specific punish for Ryu. Which we'll talk about right after. All right, so you gotta kind of like you gotta duck, and then when your body turns around, just sweep. You can actually like lack a trip guard that uh, that Eritatsu. You just gotta wait until it'll turn around and just sweep it. Close to stun here. Not not gonna get it anymore. See, uh, I mean, at least for sure you almost worked. Nice, I like that knee bash. The knee bash, option select. It's like a big jump. Enough to make a comeback? Yes. Yeah, so that uh, that setup right there, you either get the throw or you get a close anti-air. That stand medium kick is like a very specific button. That's a stun right here. Yeah! No, you didn't go for it. Th that's another OS right there. <laughs> Have to show you. Yeah, Marcus using the uh, walk up throw slash anti air OS cover. Pretty much rock, paper, scissor where you're giving yourself two, two out of three. You guys still have a couple of minutes for your predictions, so bet big. It's a 50 game set. Early show you. Nice. Challenges it. Challenges the meaty. Right back in the corner. So what Ken wants. Two-piece cancel into Tatsu. I like that. Just stay in his face. Double dragon sweep. Die, die, Hado. Who are you? I mean, he's still got Shinku, corner, life lead. So he hit the trifecta. Again, the three things that Ryu wants. He's lost one of them, but doesn't matter. Yeah, once you got the life lead in the corner, still got two out of three. Match is heavily swayed in your favor. Nice, got the tip of the Shoryu. Yeah, I have Shoryu on wake up. Big punish here. Yep, stand for your Sado. Oftentimes you'll see guys try to do stand fear, show you it's not gonna work there. 
Oh, wow, that could have been a punish, I think. That shorty was a little too close. I think the Shinku was just a bit slow. And a 55 and a 5-3. Yo, Marcus, what's that, four in a row? Yeah, the score was 3-1 before. And Marcus is like, I'm awake. At whatever time of the day this, this set happened. I'm awake. Let's not forget, guys, this was a highly voted or requested match or something, I don't know. A survey was run, I promise. Nice, and he canceled into the short Tatsu, so he was actually ready for that whiff punish. At this point, walk up low forward to trade with Hado would do it. So all those walk-ups are intentional, just to try to get in that spacing, ready for the anti-air as well. No need to throw a fireball at that point, just focus on the basics. The right there, the walk-up, turnaround sweep would have beat that uh, air tatsu, that's that's what you gotta look for. Nice, speaking of uh, sweep, sure you can. We'll drag and sweep again, that's a Makuri special. Alright, here we go, one chance. Nah, <laughs> I respect it though. Because I would have just held down back if I if I wasn't comfortable on my Shoryu. So that overhead was actually a good pick. Got the whiff punish on Sand Roundhouse. Shoryu. Entire huddle. Walk up sweep. Low forward. Spacing boys. Another sure you. I'll tell you one thing, like Marcus is one of the hardest players to jump in on. Shoto Shoto. Don't do it, but at the same time, these guys are not missing any of their anti-air short use. Which is great. It means they're really like pushing each other's, you know, limit. For like focusing on the ground while focusing on the air. Other than that, or Choi's got a macro. There goes that fierce DP I was talking about. Choi, Choi taking notes out here. He's like, yep, I remember now. But honestly, one jump in, and Makiri can bring this back. So Choi's got to be careful with his fireballs. Yeah, he's blocking out a couple things. And low forward, again, that round ender. Most characters in this game have a button that's their round ending button. For Ryu, that's his. In this match in particular, that's how you close out a round. You're sure you misses there, but it's alright. Just a little late. Oh, that's a Matsun right there. Jump jab, Tatsu, Moonwalk. There's a setup to that. Nice. You went meaty. And still assure you. That was a good mix. Alright. Jump in. Throw you. Nice guard. And if you're throw you there. Yep. Stays in the front. Stand strong anti air. Shout outs to, uh, what was it, Evo 2000 or something or no 2003 we saw a lot of stand strong anti airs with the Valle and Choi oh no yeah there he goes ready for that might be it yeah yeah there was like this set at Evo once where uh it was like Valle versus Kusumundo and he did hella anti air stand strongs Good button. Yeah, what up, Bob? Got the walk up sweep. Jab, Hado. Push him out. Jab, sure are you. Nice. Again, got to confirm with the whiff punch. It's short Tatsu. This close to stun. Low board will do it. Missed it by a hair. Of course you're gonna get the 5-5 five, five for the lore. Short, short, short. Nada. Low forward. 
completely underrated button, man. Oh, that's close. Nice guard. Oh, you got the Kara Sweep Hado into a Nambo. That was a good time to jump. Dang. Got him. Yeah, he moved the wall. That Choi not held forward there, the Shinku wouldn't have hit. Nice, there goes that sweep I was talking about. You can low profile those air tatsus. Are we gonna go one? Oh no. Go got the Shoryu. Clean round from Choi so far. Fear Shoryu again on that air tatsu. Choi's listening to the commentary. How are you listening and playing at the same time? Why are you listening and playing at the same time? <laughs> nice round opener right there. <clears throat> Early Shoryu. Shout out to Kyokuji. That's his setup. Freaking Lance, man. See, in a 50 game set, like, it takes a lot to really condition your opponent. You know? Because you can play a round where you just go ham, where your footsies are jab short you. Or you can go around where, you know, you're doing nothing. You're just doing short toss to build meter. So this match isn't really going to be something where they're conditioning each other in the long run. It's more about just, like, fighting for momentum. And, like, you know, micro, like, micro changes in the game. I respect it. No, hell yeah. Yo, go for that, Marcus. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Triple F? Yeah, it's gonna be a 50 game set. I super respect that wake up. That was hype. I don't know the lore yet, but you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> you'll learn about that. Nice. Sure you can. Sure you can sweep. Yeah. That's a pattern right there, man. That's a market special. Love seeing that. Alright, here we go. This is Danger Zone now. Oh, and a big read! That's the thing, again, after low forward, there's a good chance your opponent's gonna huddle. And sometimes you gotta, you just gotta do it, you know? I mean, I don't anticipate this will be something where someone just gets like 10 wins in a row. It's like, all right, we're at 6-6, six, six, let me make it 16-6 six, six now. The way that they're playing, it seems like it's gonna be back and forward the entire time. Nice, far knee bash. You could do a uh, jump short, low short, DP, and sometimes it'll combo on uh, Shoto. It usually it does, actually. Confirmable. That's like a Choshu type deal. Except he do like... Do like jump short, low jab short you or something. Got the dragon. Troy not able to get out of the corner yet. Now he is. Off that one sweep. Got the whiff punish on the Dayashi again. Now we have Shinku. Ah, oh, what a punish! Ensure you for the win. Yeah, that was pretty much checkmate. Cool. Very cool punish. For the record, I'll mention. Nice, got the preemptive sweeps. For the for the record, I'll mention. I don't think the uh, the top spin is particularly a strong tool for Ken. Like sometimes you can use it for like hail mary mix up, but it's not going to be something where you're guaranteed to get anything. It's like a hard read type move, and also a difficult execution move. More often than not, your top spin will will probably get punished. I mean, there are ways, I guess, where you can make it slightly safer, but it, it's always gonna be like it's a Ken thing. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog! 
You don't see that a lot. Nice wait there from Choi. Look, low forward again and ready with the DP. Fear sure you. No safe jump for you, my friend. Uh, top spin is what they call, what we call juice kick. But we ain't at Jamba Juice right now. What are these combos? Low forward Tatsu. I mean, back in the day, I thought Juice Kick sounded cool. Nice. Seven up is an up thing. But once I heard Top Spin, I was like, yeah, no. Top Spin is where it's at. That's like the real, that's the real lore. Yeah, I think because of Tupac, I like uh, Juice Kick. Super Street Fighter 2X Pac. Damn, there's like layers on that one. Got it? No, didn't get it. I was gonna get the two piece there. One low forward for the win here. Yeah. And he threw a jab short you out. Yeah, that's right. Super Street Fighter 2 X Pac and the knee bash is the Bronco Buster. Get him. Got to shore you out. Nice jump out. That was pretty far for a tick setup, so Troy recognizing and knowing that he can keep himself safe by jumping. Nah. Nah. That was grimy. It's not a first to 50, it's a 50 game set. The best of 50 games. I'm just kind of chilling. I wanted, to, I wanted to start my day right. There's been a lot of good 2X content lately. Um, especially with what the French players are doing. There's been a lot of good stuff, so I've been inspired to watch more matches. Look at that, wake up. What, and a fear sure you on that? I wonder, that was a Choi DP. That must have been a half circle back. That must have been a, that was definitely a Choi DP. What's up? Where were you guys? Yeah, how many times are we going to open a round like that? Nah, that's next weekend. Or next Saturday night, rather. It's going to start at 10 p.m. Pacific. And, uh... Oh, I should probably put the, the poster on here. That's a good point. Remind me to promote that later. The pit fatality. Someone needs to edit it where Ken would go, oh, just falls to like a bed of spikes. Yeah, I'm doing an English restream. We'll be up that night. I'm going to do it live. So my plan is to sleep during the day Saturday for a bit so that I can have enough energy to stay up the entire night. It's probably going to be an eight hour stream starting at 10 p.m. So it's going to end at like 6 a.m. I gotta, like, train my body. Like David Blaine out here. Be like da David Blaine out here. Now he, like, trains his body for his tricks. Give me, me. I don't know, Todd. I guess plenty. I never really run out. I'm a slow drinker. Anyhow, back to the match here. Kind of like derailed for a little bit. Choi taking the lead for the first time since he had three. Took quite a bit of games to get back to this point. But Marcus looking to tie right back up. He's got the corner. About even life. But jumped into a shoryu there. And Choi's got Shinku. He's got life lead. He doesn't have corner. But yeah, he has a two out of the three that made a difference. 79. I would say slightly, I'd say significant enough. 
Because in this game, slight favor is like pretty much it goes either way. But this match doesn't go either way. So it's like it's significant enough where it's like there's no, there's absolute zero dispute. <laughs> Oh, that was a weird Tatsu. Nice. I like Marcus's, um, there goes that, uh, that semi OS anti air. I like Marcus's confidence with the, uh, safe jumps. Especially in the corner when you do, like, jump, jump your shore you. It's not easy getting the safe jump again. I like that he's really trying to press every advantage he gets. I mean, that's what Ken has to do. Like, if he didn't get that safe jump, he wouldn't get all this damage right here. He took half the life because he timed the safe jump right. Sometimes that's that's what you gotta do. The Choi Boy now fighting back. Doesn't have the life lead, doesn't have the corner, nor Shinku. But he's about to get one of the three. So this is where it starts. Now he's got... No, yeah, he only got one of the three. Big read there, 89ers. When you get to this level, what really makes a difference isn't what you're doing from a big picture point of view. Like, oh man, I shouldn't start the round with fireball. Like, it's not that. It's gonna be little things. Like, I should have, you know, punished that DP harder. I should have done a knee bash instead of a sweep or, you know, it's like small things. Yeah, OZPs just gotta be a little bit earlier, so they're already like off the ground. They'll have a much higher consistency, but still, like Marcus with the the angles on the air tatsu, that's also not easy to set up. Yeah, you get to this level and it's really small things, so you can't pinpoint. It's not like you can really pinpoint a flaw. They're kind of just in the moment outplaying one another, you know. Like, that, that might be an example of a little thing, right? Missed a save jump somehow. Uh, Marcus is going to get chip soon. Doesn't even need chip. Yeah, I mean, at round start, if Ryu jumps in, he takes about 45 to 50%, but it's like... You know, it's still a gamble on him. If he gets us wrong, he, he loses about, you know, 18% off that Shoryu, so. But that's not gonna, like, make or break a set, really. It's just, it's just a round opener. But if you're autopiloting and doing that every single time, then yeah. Nice. Like, that, that's the situation where I say a micro change. Nice jump back, that was tight. Like, a micro change is like, what's my solution to these air tatsus? Because Marcus is getting them more often than not. Got the two piece for the win. That'd be a micro change you want to do. It's like, what am I. What's my solution for this? If I'm missing it, should I just guard and deal with the mix up? You know? Stuff like that. But again, Mark is just showing the air tots is working in his favor. Trade Hutto. You don't see that often. Not in this match. Alright, so Ryu's got corner. He's got life lead in. He got Shinku. He lost corner. He went for the cross cut DP there. That's why he got the the fire Hutto. He needed to end it down back, but he rolled to a full half circle back. So he ended up getting the fire huddle. Very nice there. That goes Shinku. Yeah, the fact that Choi is always ready for those cross cut short use, though, is really impressive. There aren't a lot of people in the world that can do that. Three hits on the knee bash and good chip right there. Three huddles. He almost got hit with a full Shinku Hado chip right there. That was four fireballs. Oh, we have Murasaki in the chat. What's up, Murasaki? <laughs> nice, got the Iritatsu again. Ah, uh, that's an evens. 
This is still looking good for Choi because even though he doesn't have the life lead, Ox running out. He'll need like one low forward. But Marcus matching fireball for fireball. And now this is looking good for him. Choi's not going to be able to jump or do anything. Nine apiece. Who's going to get to 10 first? Who's going to get 10 points first? At the round start, nothing. Got the jab, Shoryu. Safe jump? Sure you can. It stays in the front. You see that? The confidence of this man. Three for three. Four for four. And trades with Tatsu. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the set. Ken is a... Wow! Ken is a momentum character. Sometimes things will just work in his favor. And Marcus, breaking the double digits, gets it to a 10-9. Remember, guys, it's a 50-game set. We're only a game 20 right now. <laughs> it's only game 20, fellas. Nice. Dan Roundhouse? Yeah. Because <clears throat> uh, Sweep might have missed there. Yo, Marcus! Coming through with a sub. <laughs> Sorry, you all have to watch such a boring set. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm so bored right now. <laughs> oh! Now, if that rep had hit, if that rep had hit, then it would have been boring. It would have been like, oh, I expected that. But that rep had missed. I'm suddenly not bored. Sure you can. The overhead. Low forward and no fireball after. Choi playing super patient now. He wants to get to the double digits as well. He's okay with not even... There it goes a bar. He's pumping. Don't, te don't test Choi's reaction. Oh! If he did the Tatsu there, it would have been over. It would have been a stun. He still got the chip out. 10 apiece. <laughs> yeah, turbo, turbo 2 and uh, 120 ping. That ought to do it. And a piece. Here goes the top spin knee dash. Short, 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 short. With the sweep there. Here's Shoryu. Wow, neutral jump, short, Tatsumaki. I don't know if that was a safe jump. I fear that might have been able to get uh, hit with a dragon punch. And a round opener. A slash and thrashing said he'd love the line Ken. Line Ken is best Ken. Wow, you missed it somehow. Got to shore you. What's it gonna be here? Nice, good guard from a uh, Choi boy. Didn't want to contest any of that stuff. Neutral jump, Shinku Hado. He whiffed like three low forwards there. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, look at that, Choi with the read. I'm more of a CE Ken color myself. I like the medium punch, but I'm biased because I just like Champion Edition. Yeah, there goes that shore you. Pretty hard to uh, save jump in this match. Got another Shoryu. Choi now looking to take a lead. Gets hit with Dayashi. Getting pushed to the corner now. No Shinku. Not yet. He needs one more. Now he got it. The chip is a factor here. Low profiled it, but didn't get the punish. Because he didn't get to turn around. He was still facing the wrong way. And another jump in. How many rounds is Choi going to close out jumping over Huddle? How many tokens does this man have? Nice. Yeah, so when they do the Eritatsu, you have to wait until your character turns around to properly low profile whiff punish it. You gotta like look at the body. What? Round out Tatsu and a Waka B bash. Yo, we can ride this back to vic the victory right here. Off of just that one walk up. He can win. Nice guard. 
Troy just waited. He he was fine with dealing with. Oh, <laughs> Troy was fine with just playing patient. He waited for the moment that Marcus got off him. Shinku saved the day. Or you can. Yeah, you know, Choi Boy not getting frazzled at all. But we're seeing a lot of Hado trades. I'm telling you, that's not common in this. Usually Ken just gets blown up. Oh, Mr. Shore, are you there? Sweep with punish. Mmm. That Hado is definitely going to go through. That's a Shinku. And 12. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, Shoei Boy misses Shoryu right before as well. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Very nice uh, spacing here so far from Marcus. Gets a first big damage jump. And a die Shoryu. Shoryu. No Tatsu out the corner, though. Marcus content with just playing it, you know, from the front. Sweep Hado. Misses a sweep. Got the sweep there. Wow. That was three sweeps in a row. And. Shoryuken. Yeah, again, he didn't get to turn around there. But I wonder if that was supposed to be a short Tatsu. Yeah, Choi's always coming up with crazy stuff. Close to a stun here. Not going to get it anymore. Uh-oh. Trouble by fighting back here. But Marcus got the life lead in the corner. And no Shinku to deal with just yet. Spends it instantly. But still... Now we're out of the corner. And again, closes out the round with a jump roundhouse. No, Sire, this stage is a pretty good neutral stage for uh, this game. Speed is... You know, we're in the Goldilocks zone at this point. Got the big jump again. That was a read, huh? A read reaction? Cross fear to show you. 11 to 12. I mean, it's the ones and twos, you know? Another trade Hado. That's a Kurahashi setup right there. Cross up, low strong, low short stand. That's Kurahashi. <laughs> Double Tatsu gets thrown. Or you can. Might have missed one there. Yeah, low forward. That's all you gotta do. Just low forward, low forward. You can pay attention to your uh, the button on the ground. It's going to help you win. Plus, giving the answer. Stand strong for the round opener. Close to stun here. Not going to get it. Big cross up. Why? He missed the low strong. Still stunned. One more hit was still stunned. It was still stunned. Not anymore. It's gone. Yeah, Tatsu Sun lasts for an exceptionally long time. All right, 11 13. He missed the low strong in that combo. It would have been a guaranteed stun. The little five piece. Close it out. That's what we wanted to see right there. And then boom. Nice. He actually got the whole cross up. It's a perfect Ken round. Alright, that's a good trade for Ken. Gets to keep the corner. Boy, Fierce Shore used that air Tatsu. Can Fierce Hado? Yep. No proxy guard set up for you. Nice guard. Low forward Hado, low forward. Look at that. Making it look like Alpha 3 Ryu.
Nice stand jab. Keep that keep that uh, hurt box thin. Punch the sweep. Again, this I walk up sweep on low forward? No. These guys are doing this on 200 ping, fellas. <laughs> I assure you. And right back at you. That's the round. They're denying safe jumps. They're denying cross ups. They're denying everything. 12 13. And that's half the set right there. That's 25 games. So we're halfway through uh, today, this morning's exhibition. For you, him. All right, here we go. Short, short. Uh, triple low short. Missed the uh, missed the repa. A rapid the repa. Early sure you. Save jump. But couldn't quite punish. Actually, good on Troy would be able to spend that. He escaped the mix up, and he just has to play good neutral here if he wants to stick around. Who got it? What? How? <laughs> the damage is working out in markets' favor. They're, the game is like, no, we want 13 13. You better take that round. Yes, die Shoryu. Grabs the meaty. Or you can. Or you can. Nice. Good patience there from Choi. Gets the Shoryu of his own. it again. Yeah, it's not easy getting a, a read on choice fireball pattern, so sometimes you want to jump, but like, it's just, I, I don't think it's actually possible getting a read. Like, it's legit impossible getting a read on choice fireball pattern. Many have tried and none have succeeded. Oh! Low jab, though. Low strong would have been the one to seal the deal. Look at that walk-up sweep at max distance. He's got the corner. He's got the guard. Nice, safe jab, sure you. We got it with 33. 13-13. Yeah, how can you read a macro? Even if you could read a macro, the code is not going to make any sense to us simpletons out here. Look at that Maxis and Sweep. You actually beat like the startup or something. There goes that jump. So yeah, after low forward, potentially you can react. Potential. Mark has been pretty consistent with it. Nice combo. That's usually the type of air tots you see against Dalsim, the ones that hover really high. Oh, that's a stop. That's a market special. That's a market special right there. <laughs> For those who think that was accidental, you don't know the lore, fellas. That's real. That's a market special. I see him around the house. Good footsies right there. Got the whiff punish on sweep. Another one. 14-13. Nah, that close medium kick was hype. Because he walked into it. And let's say Choi does nothing. He's going to get hit with a knee bash. So that's like a true option select right there. Another cross up. This is stun on. Nah, that's a market special right there. That's a whole round. Consistent with that combo. I can't believe that stunned on four though. That's crazy. Got the big jump. I wonder if he wanted <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if he wanted that. That would have allowed him to uh cross over. Yo, what's up, X Hamers? Short short nada. 
And you need the, the Matsun special. One short Repa. Loves going for that. Got him. That's it. 15-13. Yeah, Mark is taking a set lead again. Two game lead. You'd love to take those. Hmm. Fire Hudo, double Tatsu. Again, got the read after the low forward, but. Here we go, momentum time. Got the safe jump. And I actually like that Shinku choice. It, again, it pushes away Ken enough that he doesn't get the mix up. Uh, I'm gonna have to steal that. Like, you'll see Ryu's just kind of hold the Shinku. It's like, no, just get him off you. You got a big enough life lead. Yeah, not this time. This is an Evo where you can make all your zero dot comebacks. Sorry, Marcus. <laughs> nice. Got to show you. Oh, the Nambo. We'll chalk that up to net play. Stand strong anti air. Shout out to US Tech. That's sweet. Nice, sure you. Wow, look at that. It just caught him standing. Fear short, you get damage on that one as well. Alright, this is the battle of shore use. Nice overhead? No, just shore you. Anything there would have stunned basically, so you can you actually get potential mix up. Slow forward. Walk up sweep. Not quite chip territory. Now we're there. What? In the shimmy. That's a three game lead. 16 13. Anyone want to go back on their predictions and change them? Let me know. Not that I can do anything about it, but curious. Any regrets, fellas? Again with that cross up. Nice guard. Sure you can. Low profiles. Got the knee bash. Troy fighting back. Big jump. Not enough to get the combo though. Got the sweep. Yeah, that's a punish for sure. Yes! Option select Repa. Oh, what's up, Vodka? Top spin. There, yeah, see, Choi is intentionally going for that then. He's punishing Air Tatsu with Tatsu. That's the second time he did that. And maybe the fourth time he went for it. So, this is like new new strats. Never before seen. Sure you can. Alright, let's see. Can we ride this out? Can we get the four game lead? Nice jab, sure you there. He's gonna have Shinku built up. And it worked out right in his favor. The DGV special. Get my bar, spend it right away. Shout out to DGV. You know, you know. Low forward. Sure you can. Yeah, that was some four fast knees right there. Early Shoryu. Kyokuji. Sure you can on Tatsu. And that's it. Wow, 17-13. 30 games here so far. Marcus is powered up. Powered up right now for sure. Big jump. Got the trade. What's it gonna be on wake up? <laughs> wake up toward medi uh, the medium kick. Or you can. Um. Well, stand low kick is not. Stand low kick's not really a bait setup for a jump. That's just like an old school thing that US players used to do. 
Like, I remember the times I used to go to Chinatown Fair, that's what the Ryu players would do. Shore you on the low forward! Another Shore you on Tatsu! What's the defense? <laughs> Joy can't get out of the corner! Marcus has put him in a box! Put him in a box! Brad Pitt, there's your answer. You want to know what's in the box? Oh, nearly got the stun there. No. There we go. Choi needed that. But yeah, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. He's got a five-game lead and a top spin. Sure you can. Short, short, Reppa. Hmm. That's a good punish. Oh, hit him with the old spice. Yeah, Murasaki. Mark is playing really good right now. Another <laughs> I mean, he might be the best that Ryu can in the world at this point, right? He's definitely a contender. Nice guard. Oh, blocked the first half of overhead. Can to get the second half. Choi's like, nah, it's my turn now. I mean, these are your EVO Grand Finalists, so 50 game sets, nothing for them. This is a walk in a park. Good jump right there. For you. Another thing I want to point out, we didn't really talk about it a lot in this set yet, is the consistency with the fireballs. So, like, here, I'll explain it after the match. What's it gonna be? Got the nasty trade. All right, so let me explain this part. Oftentimes, Ryu players will walk and guard, walk, guard, and huddle, but very few are able to just get consistent blue fireball, right? The regular quarter circle. So if you notice Choi, his inputs are really clean. He barely gets fire huddle unless he really wants it. What? Why do you get hit with that? And where's the stun? But yeah, Daigo is another player who barely gets fire huddle. Like he, you know, whatever he wants is what he gets. And I think Choi's, you know, execution for his fireball while he's walking and shimmying around, he still gets the regular huddle. I assure you, Tatsu. Like, it's hard. I want You guys should play Ryu, walk around, walk back and forward, pump fireballs, and tell me how consistently you get blue huddle. It's not like he's getting random DP or fire huddle. Like, once you start noticing the pattern and you see how, how often they're blue, you're like, damn, yeah, it makes sense. The equivalent to that is Ken players that can do walk-up sweep, like right there, and don't get ugly funky kicks or negative edge funky kicks. That's like the, the Ken equivalent, but a little bit harder. When you see Ryu and Ken players are able to do that, you know that they're legit Ryu and Ken players. Oh, what? Oh, forward, wake up. Yeah, so if you're consistently getting like weird funky kick inputs or you're getting fire huddle. Yeah, so the blue one will do more stun. Yeah. Fire huddle, you get knocked down, but sometimes you don't want the knockdown. You want to keep them up and keep them in that stun value and, you know. Got to shore you. Stays in the front here. He went for the Matsun. I respect it. Oh no, look at the wrong way. Got the Nambo out. Low forward sweep. Actually, this is good. He got the corner. He doesn't have life lead, but he got Shinku. Got the walk up throw. Shinku, yeah. That's a Choi Boy special. Low forward walk up throw. He did that to me at Evo. I still remember that. Fire Hado. Big jump. That's it. 
Bomb, bomb. Nice sand ran out here, just to prevent them from jumping back as well, usually. Yeah, Tatsu forces a uh, stand. Even when you do like a uh, jump in Tatsu combo. Nice split punish. Shane canceling through short Tatsu. Looking for a stun here. Not going to get it, actually. Not really looking for a stun. He's going for Hado. Yep, stand around house. Double dragon, walk up throw. Shinku's ready. But nah, the patience got the overhead. And Choi breaking the streak. Marcus was out there running nude. No streaks for you, my friend. 1915. Yeah, you're not going to want to sweep after two chip uh, Shoryu. Two chip Shoryu, you don't want to hit sweep because um, it's going to miss. Sometimes when you get them cornered, it might. Nice guard. Sure you. That's it. Rapper. Eighteen fifteen. Four game lead here. That's where seventy percent of the way through the set. One, two, three. How many times is he going to hit that? How many times? I don't know why I'm so angry. <laughs> like, for real. How many times is he going to get that? <laughs> Stop getting that. It's not that easy. Like, that follow-up cross-up, it's actually not that easy. Because <laughs> you have to walk at, a, at the right range to make that cross-up medium kick hit again. And be deep enough to get the Shoryu combo. Twenty to fifteen now. Nice, close to stun here. Actually, stun wouldn't even matter at that point. Miss input. Yeah, I don't know about all that, Todd. Score you can. Nice sweep. Beat the start up a fire or a, or a hado. Dude, Marcus has a one button short you. I'm calling it. Nice punish. Got the knockdown as well. <laughs> they hate each other. That's a good thing. <laughs> nice. Jumps twice. Can you see inputs live in. No. I think you can see them on replays, but. Oh, and Vodka's getting questions in the chat now. You guys know Vodka's a big celebrity. And finally, Choi gets uh, one of those deep crouching cross-ups of his own. And he gets to shore you. Trying to close this, uh, this deficit on the score here. Got another shore you. Yeah, y'all want Zangief Tech. Yeah, I hit a Vodka. It's got the YouTube shorts. Got the you. It's just set up. Wasn't quite at the range there. Top spin. Gets hit with the sweep. Nice low profile. Got the six hit on the chip. The weight. Fire huddle. All right. Only a three game lead now. Anyone else having coffee like me? I'm drinking coffee. I didn't eat yet. Yeah, I'm getting fueled up. I'm ready. I want some games today.
Nice punish there on Daigos. Got to shore you out. Oh, he went for... Wait, he, he tried to combo that? I saw a uh, Kara cancel jab there. What's he going for? <laughs> D-Reaper, is this Ken player known? Yes, he is. Check out Super Lore Boy Season 1, Episode 1 for the lore. But that's only the start. What he's accomplished since then? Incredible run. Both of these guys have collected the uh, their accolades over the years. Big jump there. Two jumps in a row. Choi spending all the tokens. Playing like it's the last match here. I don't know. It's not up to me. It's up to them. I'm not. I ain't no matchmaker. <laughs> wow! What a punish! Walk under Stand Fierce Huddle. Look at that. Marcus walked up half screen. Cross up? Not quite. Still got sweep at the uh, Fierce Huddle. Knockdown. Nice. My sure he's a little bit better sometimes. We went for that half circle back, sure you again, got the fire huddle. Nice throw on the crushing light kick. But wait, try to punish that with a big punish. But we got corner, we have Shinku. He got two out of the three, and he got the life lead. He hit the trifecta. Walk up, <laughs> Walk up overhead on the jump back. <laughs> Yo, Smash till dawn. That's OG lore right there. The melee days. Got him. 2019. The year I started streaming, I think. Or is that 2020? Yeah, the great year. The year that pretty much changed my whole life. Yeah. Well, 2019 was like... When 2020 started, I was like, all right, I'm traveling all over the world. I'm winning every tournament. That's it. This is going to be the year. Yo, Smash Hold On. Thanks. Are you from New York? Got the top spin. Let's get it. Or you can. Oh, you could have comboed there. New Jersey. Yeah, I, I, knew, it was, I knew it was East Coast Melee. But anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so... That was, that was a year where I was like, yo, I'm going to travel all over the world to win everything. I, I don't... I don't want to just be average. I want I want to be the best. And then pandemic happened. I was like, I don't care about competing anymore. And I just started streaming. <laughs> but I kid you not. That I had a whole plan laid out. I was going to write a book. If you ask uh, Chris Delp, I might have even talked to James Chen about it and a couple others. Nate. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to travel around. I'm going to compete and write a book. And then... Anyway, then the pandemic happened. I'm like, well, now since I can't write a book, what can I do? I was like, all right, let's do this podcast. See if uh, Super Lore Boys works. Yeah, Big Oki, I can uh, drop a little bit of lore after this match, but I'm sure the uh, other other players or other people in the chat can help you out there. Yeah, I got you. I have to show you. Seriously, I gotta, I gotta let y'all know. Let me find it real quick. Right there, Makiri. Season 1, Episode 1, fellas. The one who started it all. 
It's a two and a half hour podcast where we're talking to him about Street Fighter. Check it out. <laughs> I'm surprised how many like foreign players don't know about him. He's gunning for like the number one spot in the world at this point. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Got it. It's the Super Lore Boys YouTube channel here. Let me show you guys again. Well, we got some downtime. So season one, we we interviewed him. Then we interviewed his teacher, Matsun. We interviewed Damn Die. We we went all over the world. Then we went to Mexico, France, Canada, Spain. Went all over with those guys. A <laughs> nice escape with that uh, Torrid Fierce. <laughs> Yeah, if you actually want to learn how we started, like, check out the podcast. It's a, it's a little rough around the edges because my interview skills sucked and the audio is a little jank, but, oh, you know, that was my expression since I couldn't write a book. So I couldn't travel. It's like, all right, we gotta, we gotta do something different. But anyway, nah, if you guys, I'm not just chilling to chill, like, check it out. A lot of love went into uh, Super Lore Boys. That's in the episode as well. My first time meeting Marcus. My first, second, and third time meeting him. <laughs> 21 21. They're legal, y'all. Um. Well, oddly enough, he first came to the US for his first tournament. But we didn't have, like, really talk until in, I went to Japan and. He was at the arcade. He was asking me like some random questions with Ken. He was asking me how to knee bash. I don't know how to do uh, the jump tatsu cancel. I was like, what? You live in Japan? You don't know how to do that? <laughs> I kid you not, for real. He was asking me some basic questions. I was like, uh, all right. I mean, but then every time we had a conversation since, like, I went. I was like, dude, what? Yeah, like jump, jump, jab, jump, fierce. He's just like, how, how do you do it? Because he was still new to the game. But I wasn't like, you know, didn't respond in a way that would show like discouragement. I was just like, oh yeah, this is how you do it. Yeah, Japan, they don't teach you tech. All this stuff you gotta figure out on your own. They don't tell you nothing, Adam. They don't tell you anything, bro. But a part of it is you gotta ask the right questions. But yeah, check out the podcast. And Marcus D in the chat is Makuri. So for those who are wondering, he's in the chat. You guys can ask him your questions right now. But um, yeah, and then every time since we played, I'm like, bro, what, what the hell? Like, how do you level up so much? And then it came to a point where I couldn't beat him at all. And that's pretty much the story. <laughs> Yeah, they have a very odd approach in training in Japan. Just do this. Like, well, how, do, how do I combo? Oh yeah, you just do this and do that and then do that. It's like, that's... Doesn't help me, bro. Yeah, vodka, exactly. I think they just can't articulate stuff. Like... Well, I mean... Like, I'm a bit more analytical in my approach to stuff so when people ask me a question I'll, I'll break it down where I'm looking at it from every perspective it's a little bit different but I also understand like it's, it's a it's a cultural thing it's not like they don't really want to tell you but a part of it is that nice crowd cheers nice crowd cheers oh and I sure you through the shinku <laughs> 22 a piece Yeah, and I'm going to reiterate again, because I, I say this in every stream, but going to Japan, playing in Japan, or living in Japan does not make you a stronger player. You have to put in the work yourself. There's no auto buff that you get. 
you're not just gonna oh yeah because I'm here I'm gonna level up I'm gonna get better no like you need to put in you need to put in work in fact you have to put in more work there than you do already here because you can't miss anything there all you get is more people to play yeah you get more opportunity but it doesn't level you up your own individual like what's the point of just fireball your own individual like work ethic is what's gonna get you there I mean, I could talk about that for days. Sure you can. That's my segue. Anytime I'm done talking about something, I just say, sure you can. <laughs> nice. <laughs> They're dancing with the, with the supers right now. Nice jump. I'm going to show you. Got the combo. Got the corner. So he got the corner. He got the life lead. He got whiff punished. Only two out of three. All right. Anyone going to spend a token or are we just going to try to win it on the ground? Spent the token. That's a spacing where Stan Strong might have been able to tap that. Uh, jump around house or Fear Shore you. Just wanted to trip him. Wait, 22, 23. Wait, why are they throwing mad coins out? Oh, I guess it's where Choi is like, all right, man, let's go to. I don't know, that's not how he talks, but let's play to 50. And then that's when they decided. <laughs> Sure, you again. And he gets to keep the corner off that sure you. That's a good luck. Yo, SRK Killer. You know about the coffee lore? Let me know. Riz Zero Nate Coffee. Yeah, Marcus, I know the lore, man. I play all enough to know <laughs> what you're chatting about in game. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> Yo, SRK, appreciate that. Yo, are we gonna get the... No, not quite. But we're gonna get a perfect... Nice, sure you! I wanna see a 23-23. We need to get the Dr. Pepper right there. 23 flavors. Yeah, welcome, killer. Yeah, SRK, you saw um, bosses coming back to NorCal for a little bit. What? Wonder if that was intentional. Low forward jab DP. All right, 24-22. I think he wanted low forward Shinku there, but it worked out. Yo, what's up, Alessio? From Italy. Welcome. Yeah, hope you guys are enjoying some nice little 2x action here. There's a lot going on. If you, if you guys are keeping up with what's going on with the the French players in Japan, there's a lot going on right now for this game. So it's, it's a very exciting time. We just had Kazel and Nashka fighting uh, Aniken and Oruchun. They had a great FT3 2v2 battle. Highly recommend checking that out. Boss is just coming from Modelo's. <laughs> Family Le Feud. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. <laughs> um, well, Big Oki, they're going to be on a bunch of channels. I would recommend following EC Morn on Twitter. Follow EC Morn because he's pretty much documenting the whole experience.
boom, 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 boom. Okay, that was legit. Sometimes I have to count it back in my head to see if it was an odds and, like, if it was odd or even. But, uh, yeah, that was a legit Shinku. And at this point, Choi has reached, you know, half of, half of all the games to be played. Double knee bash. Nice wait. Poor Tatsu escape. That's a hyper fighting strat. That's a stun. No, not quite. Yo, Johnny. Mr. Cash. Legendary Guile player from the Netherlands. Appreciate that, Johnny. You the man. <laughs> Keep it up with that crouch fears. I'm stealing that. Yeah, Murasaki. It's kind of amazing how, like, in the game, you could feel you could feel something, right? You can feel their spirit while they're playing. I mean, this is just casuals, but like still, you know, they don't want to lose. Yeah, Ultra Shot, what's up? Alright, Daigo Shinku. What? No, he did not. That's disrespectful in my book. Redo the whole set, fellas. Nah, redo. Katarl Z. Undo. We're redoing the whole set. I'm not going to Vegas Switch, nah. Are you going? I know you need to meet your fans there. Yo, Marcus, I'm down to start every Saturday morning like this. This is hype. I kind of want to see reverse mains though. I want to see Marcus Ryu versus Choi Ken. That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna have to set something up. We'll, we'll need like official graphics and, and whatnot. Like we'll make it a real thing. Because <laughs> Choi's got a Ken. If you guys have seen it, he used Ken against uh, Balrog, Tokido Balrog at Evo. The white gee Ken. Got the deep shore use and everything. The only other time you saw Ken in America like that was, uh, or back in the day, was Valle. Valle tried using Ken against, uh, Boy Boys S. Sagat. Yo, what up, man? That's the only other time. Alright, so Choi officially takes the guaranteed lead. 23 to 26. There's one game to go. Let's throw you out. That's a punish on hit. <laughs> Crouching Ryu got blown up. All right, Marcus. If Marcus can take this round, 24-26 is a very respectable score. I mean, these guys are playing awesome the whole time. What? what? <laughs> That's it. Nah, this sh this should have went further games. This should have been a longer set. That should have that should have been more games. That was hype. Good set. All right, so hold up. So I, I told you guys I was gonna show you the um. Hold on, I think I gotta add it. Uh, desktop. All right, here we go. Where is it? I gotta find it now. Too many things. All right, you know what? We'll just start from the beginning. This is gonna be shill mode, real quick. 
I'll, I'll, I'll show that one last. So next week, guys, we're doing a hyper fighting tournament. Choi is also your hyper fighting champ. Oh, let me pay out the uh, the channel points too. Hold on. Uh, 56% had Marcus, 44% Choi. It was close, fellas. Congrats to those who made a couple extra channel points. Do with it what you will. But yeah, Choi, your reigning hyper fighting champion. He'll be back. And uh, so that's going to be next week. 2x in a mirror. It's going to come back again. Hopefully Bipson gets this new move. And I don't know. Imagine he got a new special attack. But, uh, oh, check out Illuminati.com. I think I have a command for it. For real, check it out. You might like what you see there. Um, Turbo, you know, he's been putting together uh, a bunch of 4K, res, you know, high res VHS converts, including the oldest net play that was played on, you know, SNES. Check it out. It's good stuff. Um, then you have the podcast. So, McKerry was your episode one. Uh, basically, the first person. And also made the music that we're listening to now. So, like, he pretty much made Super Lore Boys. I'm just chilling. Super Lore Boys, all him. And then we got season two. We got a couple cool people on as well. But, uh, oh, and then there's obviously on YouTube a bunch of different events. But the YY Cup, this is what I wanted to talk about. So, next Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific time. It'll be Sunday, 2 p.m. Japan Standard Time at Fujimidai YY. There's gonna be the YY Cup. So it's pretty much a team tournament where players from, you know, Nagoya and Saitama, Tokyo, like all the different arcades are gonna compete um, to determine which city has the actual strongest players in Japan and France. So that's gonna be you know, a tournament just coming off of Exer to have to have something like this happen. Like, this is crazy. This is going to be an intense event. I think they're going to do East West. There's going to be exhibitions as well. So, YY Cup 2023. I hope I see you there, Marcus. I hope I see Murasaki there. Um, you know, rooting for Kazel because Kazel has been there. You go. All right, Marcus already just letting us know he's going to be there. And this is going to be next weekend. So Saturday morning cartoons next weekend. I don't know. Maybe. But I'm going to have to rest during the day and and commentate this um, after. So this is one of the coolest things that we'll see for 2X. And it's really like, you know, been been inspiring for me. Just just these past couple of big events that have, that have happened in Japan. So if you guys have nothing to do next Saturday night, Sunday morning hang out you know let's let's play some and also of course there's the japanese stream so i was given the honor of being able to do uh an english restream for a north american audience if you're in paris for you know if you're in france it's gonna be like 7 a.m for you guys but yeah it's gonna be fun times and uh hope i see y'all there apart from that i don't know i guess we'll uh Get on my plane real quick. Find someone to raid. And, uh, you know, congrats to Choi Boy for taking that set. Good stuff to you as well, Marcus. That was a ton of fun. Uh, let's see what's happening now. I don't know. Who we, who we raid now? So we'll raid your boy. Uh, I don't know if I follow him. I'm gonna have to follow him. Let's trade Punk. He's got footsies in Street Fighter 6. Alright, fellas. I'll catch y'all later. Take care.